Hello friends. In this session we will discuss agglutination inhibition test. Before discussing the agglutination inhibition test, let's be clear about the concept of agglutination and precipitation reactions. Normally, when large and particulate antigens like RBCs are mixed with their specific antibodies, they bind to each other in a specific pattern called as lattice, like this. And reaction then visualized in the form of clumping within few seconds, as you may have seen in case of blood group detection test, like this. This reaction is called as agglutination reaction. But if the large and particulate antigen is replaced by the small and soluble antigen, reaction don't develop immediately. It requires at least 24 to 48 hours for reaction to become visible in the form of precipitate. Such reaction is called as precipitation reaction. So keep this in your mind that we cannot detect small and soluble antigens quickly like particulate antigens. But by using agglutination inhibition test, we can detect the presence of small and soluble antigen very rapidly even they don't show the agglutination reaction. The principle of agglutination inhibition test was used in the older type of pregnancy test kits. So let us discuss that example. Pregnant women secretes a hormone called as SCG that is human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone in their urine. SCG is very small and soluble type of molecule. It is also referred as haptin in many books since it is antigenic in nature but not immunogenic. So this haptin molecule will not show agglutination reaction with its specific antibodies as it is small and soluble antigenic molecule. But when it is conjugated with a carrier molecule like this, which is called as haptin carrier complex, now it is able to show agglutination reaction with its specific antibodies. So keep this in mind, SCG alone cannot show agglutination reaction, but its complex with carrier can show agglutination reaction. The older pregnancy test kit was provided with two reagents. First is anti-SCG antibodies which binds to SCG molecules, either free SCG molecule or SCG molecule of SCG carrier complex. And the second reagent is SCG carrier complex. Let us assume that woman is pregnant. That is, there will be SCG molecules in the urine sample. In the first step, the urine sample of woman is incubated with anti-SCG antibodies. During incubation, antibodies will bind to SCG molecules like this. After this, the second reagent that is SCG carrier complex is added to this mixture. But since the SCG molecules were present in the urine, all the antibodies added will be engaged with them. And there will not be any free antibody to bind SCG carrier complex. So what happened here, the SCG molecules from the urine inhibited the agglutination reaction of anti-SCG antibodies and SCG carrier complex. And that's why the test is called as agglutination inhibition test. So we will not be able to see agglutination in this case. So no agglutination is the positive test, means the woman is pregnant. Let us assume the woman is not pregnant, means no SCG molecules in the urine. In this case also, we will first mix the urine sample with anti-SCG antibodies. But since the SCG molecules are absent in this case, antibodies will remain free. Then we will add SCG carrier complex in the second step. Guess what will happen in this case? Of course, the antibodies will react with these molecules, which will result in the visible agglutination like this. So agglutination is the negative test, means the woman is not pregnant. So these are the reverse kind of results. So if we cannot see the agglutination, that is the positive test. 
and if the agglutination appears at the end of test it means it is a negative test so in this way the presence of small antigens can be checked using agglutination inhibition test the test is also used to detect illegal drugs like heroin and cocaine in the person's body it is also used to check whether a person was exposed with a particular virus if you like this video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to keep the channel growing thank you very much